everybody, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. And today I'm featuring our Simon exclusive Chilling Frenchies stamp set and some other fun Simon exclusives to create a colorful watercolored retirement card. I have the Summer Cuddly Critters, which is a previously released stamp set, and also our Chilling Frenchies stamp set. And I'm gonna be using both of these today, images from each one, to create a really cute little retirement card. But I'm gonna stamp them out onto some watercolor paper. This is Arches Cold Press Paper using Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink. This ink is perfect for watercoloring, which is what I'm going to be doing today. It can be used with watercolors or Copic markers, but like I said, I'm gonna be using watercolors. I have some fun watercolors here from Jane Davenport. These are all very summery looking colors. So I thought these would work really well for the card design that I'm gonna be doing today. I'm starting off by coloring the umbrella. The umbrella is a rainbow of colors and I'm using just a light amount of water because I want the colors to stay quite vibrant. And I also don't want them to bleed as I work in colors that are next to each other. I'm also working to blend some colors to create some custom colors that aren't already in the palette. Orange, for instance, was one that was not already in the palette, so I mixed up some yellow and red to create an orange color. I also altered the indigo color. I took some of the indigo out of the well that's in the palette, and I watered it down a lot so that it gives me this really nice light blue color. I wanted to show you this because this is important. When you're coloring with watercolors and you have a palette that maybe might be limited with colors, like this one for instance, which only has 12 colors, you can still get a whole variety of shades just by mixing colors or by diluting them. For instance, the indigo color created this really nice light bluish gray color. When I mixed these colors here, I'm mixing some yellow, red, and even a little bit of the blue together with some green to create a brown color. By mixing all these colors, I knew it was gonna create brown. And as I mixed in some yellow and some red that warmed it up and also helped me create a lighter version of that warmer color to create a nice warm brown. This is really helpful to know because when you have a limited palette, you can still achieve a lot of variety just by mixing colors to achieve new looks. So I used that brown that I created to color in not only the Frenchy bulldog that I have here, who's sitting on this fun little beach chair with his nice lemonade drink, I also used that same brown color to mix in some pink to create the warm pink color because there's some nice bright pinks in this palette, but there wasn't a warm pink, which is what I wanted to use for parts of his face, his ears, and even a little bit on his belly. I also used that warm brown color that I created to color in the sand. The sand is a lighter color, so I wanted to dilute it quite a bit, but that was really helpful to create that color because that color then translated to other colors throughout the scene. I also colored his shirt and his shoes. His sandals are colored with a green color and his orange top it was one of the colors that I created by mixing other shades that are already in this palette. Once I finished the main watercoloring, I also took some of that same brown that I created and splattered it across some of the sandy areas of the scene to help give the texture of sand. But I wanted to make sure that this was dry before I did this, so that way the splatters wouldn't bleed once I splattered them across the sand. Now that my coloring is finished, I wanna go ahead and die cut these. Now I did wanna mention that if you are coloring these images and wanna create a card just like this, you don't necessarily have to use watercolors. Watercolors is what I used for this, but you could totally use markers or pencils or whatever other medium you prefer. So once I die cut those images, I wanted to work on the background. The background features our new Simon Says Stamp Waves background stamp, and I'm inking it up with some Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink. I'm gonna stamp it down and create this really nice texture. I'm not gonna worry about how detailed the stamping is. If it's a little splotchy in spots, that's okay. It's because I'm gonna bring in some water and some more of my watercolors to create more of an oceany or poolside looking background. So I'm going to mix in some water and some of these blue colors from my palette to kind of follow along the same lines that the wave stamp already has 
And as I add this water, it's also diluting some of that wavy stamping that we've already done with the oxide ink because oxide inks are water reactive. So which means they're moving as well, not just the watercolors. And this has created a really cool textured background. A lot of this is gonna get covered up, but the edges especially are going to show up behind our panel that we're gonna add on top of this background. Now, one other way to make this look more ocean or pool-like, I'm going to take some Distress Resist Spray. This spray is very textural. Once this dries, it has a wet-like look to it. And by taking the nozzle, I'm going to spritz this across my panel to create this really cool watery texture effect. It's almost as if you took some glossy accents and put this onto the background. However, the Distress Resist Spray kind of dries a little bit more textural than glossy accents and it's not quite as dimensional. So it creates a really unique look. I really feel it adds a lot to this background. Now speaking of backgrounds, I mounted that background onto an A2 card base. However, I will trim it down because I realized that these rounded nested rectangles from Simon's Stamp aren't exactly proportionate to an A2 size card. So I did trim a little bit of the bottom off just to make sure that this nested well with the rounded rectangle panel that I added on top of here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and layer some of my images. So I put on my cute little dog sitting in his beach chair plus the umbrella, which I all die cut from the coordinating dies for each of these sets. I added some embossed sentiments from the Chilling Frenchies stamp set. And I also popped in a few of the new Marina sequins from Simon Says Stamp. These really cool orange and blue sequins look so good with these colors in my scene that I thought this would work well for the overall design. And then finally, I added a few Nouveau glitter drops here and there across the background just to add a little bit more dimension and carry on with that watery theme. Overall, this really colorful retirement card is so much fun, has a really cool summery vibe. And the cool thing is, is that not only is this a retirement card, but you could change the sentiments to be something completely different. So my hope is that no matter what kind of card you're creating, whether it's retirement or summer vacation, or just, hey friend, you're awesome, this card design would be so much fun to use for any style of cards. And I hope it's inspired you today. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to our channel or see any of these other videos on screen for more inspiration. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again very soon with more to share. But until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye.